good Monday morning to meteorologist Travis Klineski here. Uh, after a fairly cloudy overnight behind a cold front, the sky is now starting to clear up pretty quickly, and we're actually going to get quite a bit of sun today, maybe some clouds out west. And then late in the day, those high clouds out west will start to stream eastward through the area, and so we'll thicken up that, clouds, that, that cloud cover late in the afternoon and into this evening. A cold one is expected out there colder depending on what part of the viewing area you're in, but pretty much colder for everybody compared to what we had this past weekend. Tonight, clouds filling back in. Fairly chilly tonight. Bit of an easterly, northeasterly breeze out there. And the one thing we'll have to watch for tomorrow morning, and this model doesn't show much of it, is a little bit of a round of light snow or freezing drizzle to start things off. I don't think it will be much, but again, some very light precipitation in the morning, a lot of cloud cover. Temperatures probably even a little bit colder for your day on Tuesday. So, Temperatures for today, not real great. Teens across the north, 20s farther south, upper 20s in the Tri-Cities, and then some 30s in our south and southwest, upper 30s for McCook and Imperial. Tonight, we're falling back into the single digits and teens again, so similar to this morning. And then tomorrow, well, for most of us, a little colder out there. Temperatures ranging from the teens in the northeast to the 30s in the southwest. You have to go way out west in the Panhandle to find some 40s, lower 20s in the Tri-City. So we'll see another day in the low 20s on Wednesday, but look to the northwest, Sand Hills area. That's coming Wednesday night into Thursday. Another shot of colder air along with that. We've got a little snow in the forecast Wednesday and Wednesday night to talk about as well. All right, so here's that three-day forecast. Again, upper 20s today, low 20s with more clouds the next couple of days. Snow in the forecast Wednesday and Wednesday night. The best chance will be Wednesday night. And this chance is probably the best chance of picking up some accumulating snowfall. Not going to look at major snow. I could see a couple of inches of snowfall, though. So light accumulations are expected. That's followed with that colder shot of air Thursday, a high only of 10, struggling to 10 on Thursday. And that's after starting off around 1 Thursday morning. And then we fall back below zero Thursday night. Sunshine returns. We'll start to recover Friday. Saturday, the best day of the seven-day forecast. Well into the 30s, a little breezy out there, mostly sunny, and then a little colder on Sunday. And how about another chance of what looks to be fairly light snow on Sunday? And I tell you what, our long-range forecast, not much above average coming over the next 10 days. That one day on Saturday is barely above average. So hope you didn't get used to the warmth we saw this past weekend because we're not going to see much of it coming in for the next week or two. It looks like even that two-week forecast beyond this forecast Still kind of a struggle to warm things up much all the way through the next couple of weeks through about the 16th or 17th at this point here. So uh, February off to a great start so far. Well, the first three days were actually not too bad, but yeah, these next several days not looking so pleasant. So with that, I will let you all go. Hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful uh, Monday. I'll see you all again bright and early on Tuesday morning. Take care. Enjoy your day. God bless.